Hello and good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. Welcome to another edition of Up to Speed Live. It is Tuesday, April 7th. i remind you uh, as to what day it is. I know a lot of people are going around right now saying, hey, it's day. Uh, no, it's Tuesday, so you all know uh, what we're working with today. So uh, a lot of information to share with you today. Of course, we'll have Hans and Christy giving us the latest updates, but also joining us today will be Ronan Dunn, the leader of our consumer group, to give us updates on retail redeployment. A lot of folks out there uh, from the retail land uh, doing some new and different things today, but ultimately all for our customers to keep them connected when they need it most. So let's get over to Hans now for any updates. Hans, good afternoon. How are you, sir? Hi, Jeremy. Hi, VTMS. I hope you're good out there. Uh, good reminder, it's Tuesday, April the 7th. Time is going fast in, in this new normal that we have to meet every day at noon and, and have an update where we're going. A couple of things from me. I mean, first of all, we continue with the same vigor or as we've done all the time with our mission of keeping all, all of us employees uh, healthy and safe, and I think that uh, is extremely important and first priority. And, and the second one, the network, uh, to keep them up. And uh, there are some new um, facts coming out from the network that I will talk about, but just let me come back to the employee point of, it, point of view. Yesterday, we had Joe Russo and Christy talk a lot about uh, the, the new uh, sort of principles that we're now uh, applying, uh, going from uh, already having very rigid processes even further uh, with the masks and all of that. I remind you all of that to follow up with your team leadership if you are in the field force to get the right information and, and work with the teams uh, and uh, and see that we are applying the new principles that we now have in the field. And I, I, again, I want to thank all of you being in the field. Um, it's so important to keep up the, the networks, but doing it in a very, very a uh, restrictive way in order to also care for safe and healthy. So thank you for that to all of you. If we then talk about the network today, we have a new network report out, uh, mainly focus on the mobile handovers. Uh, and that's a US centric measurement we're doing in order to see how the, how the citizens of the US are moving around. Uh, I, I have reported earlier on that we're seeing 25, 27% less mobility in the country. This week, from, we have now 35% down on mobility in, in the United States when it comes to mobile handoffs between different cells, which is an enormous number. 35% is just enormous, and it tells you how this uh, country, United States, is reacting uh, to this uh, uh, crisis, this uh, pandemic. Uh, but we also see cities like uh, New York Metro up over 50% in less uh, mobile handovers. And we see the upper states of New York being over 60% uh, down on mobile handovers. Uh, you're saying that people are staying at home or staying where they are, which is enormous numbers. Uh, in the same press release, we also talk about the numbers in Yahoo, which are quite astonishing as well. I mean, 300 million people actually accessing the coronavirus uh, news site that uh, Yahoo have, uh, which is uh, big numbers. And uh, our team at Yahoo is doing a great work to seeing that we have the relevant and fact-based content on the COVID-19 for all our customers there. So a lot of news there. The team is doing a great job to seeing that we keep up the network. I've had several conversations since last time as well with customers and the network is, is doing well. Uh, the last uh, thing I just want to mention, and I know that Jeremy will help me later on, but we continue to do a lot for our society. And we partner with anyone to see that we actually are st standing up right right now. Three things that we have today to, to talk about. One, uh, or we have it pay it forward every Tuesday and Thursday. So we have it today again. Today it's gamers again. And uh, Jeremy will probably enlighten you who they are, but we continue with that to see that we have pay it forward and that people are engaging for small and medium businesses. The other thing we're doing is that we're joining uh, WHO and Global Citizen in something called the One Word Together at Home concert, which is a concert the uh, 18th of April with all the fantastic uh, artists you can think about. It's going to be on the Yahoo platform, uh, and, uh, and Verizon is supporting it. And again, it's things uh, in order to engage and entertain people in this new normal. 
Uh, and lastly, Yahoo Sports also have a big uh, event coming up on Saturday that we just announced, which is called We Keep Playing, which is uh, Yahoo Sports together with the Women's, Women's Sports Foundation, uh, where a lot of uh, extremely famous uh, female athletes will talk about their careers and having an open dialogue. Um, that's on Saturday. So, But all these dates will come out. It's just to know that all our organizations are thinking about all our four stakeholders constantly. How do we see that we employee are doing or having the right things in front of us, seeing that our customers uh, have uh, all the support they need, uh, seeing that our shareholders understand what we're doing and ultimately doing the right in society. So it was just a way for you to understand that it's a lot of things happening and uh, we will, you will have all the data and all the time sent from Jeremy, but uh, it's great to see that our team is uh, really taking leadership in, in these uh, very special times. So, Jeremy, back to you. Hans, thank you for the update. And yeah, like you said, more on those three events uh, here later uh, today. Uh, I want to get over to Ronan Dunn now. Ronan joined us uh, a few weeks ago now from outside of our store in Union, uh, New Jersey, right there along Route 22, I believe it was. He is uh, uh, in his home today uh, with an update. Ronan, how are you? Well, hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. And a big shout out to all of my colleagues in the consumer group. So, Jeremy, a ton has changed in the last few weeks, as you say, from outside the retail store in Union. We've seen a massive crisis response effort right across the organization and a real operational and, and cultural transition and transformation. Uh, and I, a big shout out to all of the component parts of the organization for making that happen. The first thing we're doing is we're doubling down on the fact that we have an amazing network and therefore our ability to continue to serve our customers for the consumer group is making sure that we have plans that meet their needs. So I'm delighted working closely with GTS and other parts of the organization that we've been able to give customers more access, whether that be more content, more entertainment, better educational tools for working from home, all of which have to be set up and built on the network while at the same time making sure that those who've been impacted by the coronavirus financially are also being protected and kept connected. So a huge effort all around to re-engineer our business and showing up how and where our customers would expect. So amplifying the capabilities we have online and in the My Verizon app to make sure that we can continue to serve customers uh, and meet their needs. But we've also been thinking about what else would our employees want so we've changed the nature of work. We've moved our procedures inside retail to allow us to have social distancing, to also ensure that we have the right balance of protections for our employees and our customers, while still being able to deliver the essential needs of people who can't simply fulfill online, who need to go to a store, who need to pick something up, or need to be talked through uh, a service that they don't uh, otherwise uh, wouldn't be able to uh, operate. So a huge uh, shout out and thank you to all of our colleagues on the front line. But we've now come to a situation where we realize that there's more that we can do. And actually, more particularly, a lot of my colleagues in the uh, uh, Verizon Consumer Group who want to do more. So what we did was we uh, went out and we surveyed over 48 hours about 16,000 of our colleagues who were in the retail organization and said to them, um, what would you like to do, given that your store is closed, given that the area that you're in doesn't have an open store, what are the alternatives that might be available? And so we've worked with the team to create redeployment opportunities to support customer service in the front line, to support telesales, to support our colleagues in VBG on areas like video conferencing, and to provide real choices also for those who are close enough to an open retail store to support colleagues who've been keeping those stores open and so being able to expand the roster of people that, uh, that have been available. But to do all that, what we need to do is we need to double down on training. And so while people in the retail stores, of course, they know the propositions, they understand our products and services uh, better than most, but actually, how do you go about supporting the frontline in customer service? So the best way to do that is to use our world-class learning and development uh, colleagues who are brilliant at this stuff. So Lou, Tedrick, and the team have been supporting us, supported by GTS, by Krista, uh, by Nancy, and all of the leadership team. 
And what they've done is they've developed uh, an exceptional fast development program that allows more of our employees to be redeployed. And rather than me explain it to you, much better that I uh, play this short video, which shows you just what uh, Adriana and the team have been doing to facilitate the redeployment of many of our retail colleagues. So let's play the video. My name is Adriana Lang. I am the Director of Learning and Development that supports the Verizon Consumer Group, specifically customer service. I've been with the company 30 years in March, so it just hit a milestone anniversary. In a nutshell, what we're trying to do is to redeploy about 5,300 retail employees to help out in the customer service space. And they'll be helping our customers with general customer service inquiries, like billing inquiries and equipment and things like that. As soon as I got the call, my team went to work figuring out how we could make this happen in such a short time frame. When you're in situations like this, you really do have to throw out everything you know and start from a blank piece of paper. We started with, what does a retail rep already know? Well, we know they know a heck of a lot. They know our pricing, our promos, our products. They know about Verizon. And it allowed us to take the training from what would be five weeks of classroom to one day. This effort is so much more than the training. Yes, the training is gargantuan, but all of the details that wrap around the training uh, are equally as gargantuan. How do you identify the employees? Once they're identified, how do you get them the equipment that they need? Once they get the equipment they need, how do they know who they report to? Do their timesheets? All the little details that we take for granted every day. And I'm really happy to say that as the team came together in this effort, it was awesome collaboration, cross-functionally, cross-team to make it happen. It was just amazing. We always show up in a crisis, and this is just one more way um, that we're doing it internally. We're, we're putting this massive effort forth so that we can ensure that all of our B-teamers have a way to help. I think that that's when we as B-teamers shine, um, when we're asked to do the impossible, and we do it. So thank you, Adriana and Lou and all of the people uh, on the training side for that gargantuan effort to use Adriana's term. But also, I'd, I'd, I'd like to recognize that in business as usual, this is going to be hugely powerful as well. One of the things I hear all the time in Your Voice Matters is that desire that those in retail would have a better understanding of the service environment and those in service have a better understanding of the retail environment. Well, by working together in these exceptional circumstances, there will be long-term benefits for, throughout the organization. And I'd also like to make a big shout out to many of our V-Team colleagues who volunteered to go back to the front line and support the retail stores <clears throat> so that we can rotate the people who are available inside the stores. And what we've also done is we've updated further the user experience inside the stores. So just a reminder that Christian Hans would have told you about, we've moved to an in-store pickup model, we've moved to appointments, but we're now taking the guidance that has been updated. We're also taking the opportunity to facilitate our customers wearing uh, coverage on their faces when they come to visit us. And we also have put in an order from bandanas, which will be available uh, early this week, which will also give our uh, employees who are going back on the front line in retail the opportunity for them also to have their face covered when they're um, still managing with social distancing, but also just as an additional layer of comfort and safety uh, for everybody. So all of these measures are going to support us making a difference. And so many of our colleagues wanted to be more involved, which is great. But secondly, also showing up how and where our customers would expect at a time like this. So a particular shout out and thank you uh, to Christy and the HR team for providing the flexibility and the speed of responsiveness that has allowed us to literally turn on a dime to reinvent some of the learning programs and also the flexibility to be able to deploy people in this way in support uh, of our customers. That sort of agility is not necessarily what large organizations are known for. But you know what? Our customers are seeing it, and it's something that we'll become famous for. So a big shout out and thank you 
to GTS, to Network, to HR, to everyone who's been involved, and to my colleagues in both the retail and in the customer service world for making a special effort on behalf of the customers. Back to you, Jeremy. Awesome, Ronan. Ronan is well known for saying, it only works when it all works. And I think this is a, a great example of all of those pieces coming together that uh, the teams are stepping up, people are stepping up, and it's incredible to, to see that uh, across the business. Uh, so I want to get over to Christy now for some updates. Good afternoon, Christy. How are you? I'm great, Jeremy. Thanks. A couple of updates for all the V-teamers today that I wanted to share. Building on everything you heard from Ronan and Hans, I think we're now really at a pivotal point in our response to COVID where this is the way we're operating for now. This is our kind of adjusted state. And we're really focused on enabling everybody on the V-team to contribute and have uh, either their former assignment or an alternative work assignment so that in this time, everybody's able to contribute. I would really just like to thank Ronan for the uh, support he and his leadership team have given to giving our employees alternate assignments and giving us the latitude to find creative ways to train them. And that was a great update from Adriana. What I want to also highlight is in addition to those 5,300 people we've just started training this week, we've already trained over 30,000 people prior to this week. So we are in full on mode of delivering real time as needed digital experiences for people to be skilled up to do roles. And as a reminder, almost all of our training previously was delivered in person. So we're pivoting as we go to keep up with the way in which we're working differently across all the areas of the company. Later this week, you're gonna get additional communication about the learning portal 2.0. If you haven't ever taken the time to build your profile, this is a perfect time to do that. And you'll be giving instructions again later this week how to do that. It's for all employees in Verizon. On the learning portal, you're gonna find that there's curated content suggesting education experiences and learning pathways for various roles in the company. We also wanna highlight there you could find things from the uh, LinkedIn library from Pluralsight, which is a platform with technology training. Also, there's some Harvard education classes. And finally, we also have a link to get certified, which will give you particular credentials and certifications that may be recommended for certain roles. And we'll be communicating our company's policy that we will reimburse you for up to two certifications per year as a complement to our tuition assistance program. So right now is the perfect time for everybody while we're being nimble and agile to really get on that learning portal 2.0 and make sure you're doing everything you can to be skilled up and working in ways that can contribute to Verizon. Thanks, Jeremy. Hey, Christy, thanks so much for, the, for that update. Do appreciate it. Uh, again, it's remarkable what, uh, what folks are doing to keep the business going here. Uh, Ronan, want to jump over to you for uh, a, a quick question here and really hammer this home. What should folks who choose to go to the store how are our folks equipped to help them and what types of things are they helping them with this day and time? So uh, just this uh, past few days, the mix of what's going on in the stores has actually fallen so that it's more service than it is new connections and device uh, transactions. And that's great because what we've done is we've opened up the aperture online and in the app to make sure that all of those things that can be fulfilled that way are being. So what we're seeing is that we have procedures in place with social distancing, with control of access to the stores, with uh, pre-authorizations where people are coming in, prepared, confirming that they're healthy, where appropriate, they're wearing covering on their faces. And they're coming in for the things where essentially what we're doing is um, we are training and teaching them about things that they need to do, tools that they need, for example, for homeworking that they haven't previously used, uh, helping people who might otherwise not be able to, uh, to keep uh, connected, and also helping people who are themselves helping others. So we've had a number of examples of people coming in who want to help an elderly uh, member of family or neighbor or others, and so they're getting additional information or additional access so that they can support other people in the in the community. But the key here is that the first and foremost, we will use our online environment to support those things that don't need any sort of human uh, interaction. And increasingly we're seeing, so we've actually seen not just the percentage mix, but we've actually seen the physical number of online transactions grow in uh, the recent weeks as well. So that's a good thing for the, for the business overall, meeting the customer where they are. 
and really making sure that the retail uh, environment is for essential needs and helping more people to keep connected, but also to help them to keep communities in which they are also supported and connected as well. Good to know. Thank you for that. Now, you know, talk about a lot of teams doing a lot of work. Shout out to the uh, the online team who is uh, helping keep people connected there as well. Christy, follow up from you. Uh, a lot of folks on our Twitter stream right now saying, you know, thanks for doing this for our customers, for the employees. Uh, some question follow up, are there going to be different waves of, of redeployment or how will that look or work going down the road? Great question. Thanks to the V-teamers for asking that. Uh, on the heels of our retail employee redeployment effort, we uh, surveyed employees in VBG. So there's some realignments that are going on and new assignments happening right now, this week for them. And then we're going to be using the VZ Careers uh, page. So other managers and employees throughout the company can go and find opportunities and we will continue to do uh, redeployments and reassignments so that we can keep everybody uh, contributing. So that'll be our goal and people should expect that we'll operate like this for the interim period of time here. Good, good, good to know. A lot of information about that on the, uh, the resource pages for everybody. And uh, of course, uh, employees can always go check that out on the inside Verizon app. Thanks for that. Uh, I want to thank uh, Ronan for joining us today, as well as Christy, as usual. Uh, Hans, want to get over to you and uh, put check in uh, as we wrap up uh, up to speed live today, please, sir. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Ronan and Christy. I mean, uh, when you listen to both what Christy and Ronan are saying, and, and of course reflecting over the, the last couple of weeks, I mean, uh, you have to be proud for how we have uh, changed uh, the whole way of working and continue to operate as a company. If it is the big redeployment of resources that Ronan and the training team has done is just amazing or how we work differently in the front line or uh, how we now have our learning portal 2.0 up so people can uh, uh, fortify their profile during this time or the, I also want to recall the virtual volunteerism that we have launched recently. I think that we as a company has really shown up how we continue to work in this new normal. And, and that doesn't mean that we are done right now. I'm certain we're going to continue to evolve. And all the feedback that you have out there in the field or in where we work from home that we can do better, we're open to that. And as you can see, we take decisions every day to see that this new normal is working for everyone. And both with the in mind that we're going to keep uh, the safety and the health of all of us, but also that we need to keep the business up and keep our customers up because that's all the utmost importance uh, in this time. And I cannot tell you how many times this last week I've spoken to people, uh, customers, uh, or um, uh, people from society in general. All of them are thanking us and telling us how important it is the work we're doing today because without the connectivity, wireless, wireline, fiber, uh, WebEx, whatever it might be, uh, this would be an extremely tough uh, situation. It is a tough situation, but it would be even worse if we didn't have the connectivity and, and, and the communication tools that we are enabling. So again, thank you all V-teamers. Uh, remember, if you're a gamer, tonight's your night. Uh, you can uh, tune in and Jeremy is going to fill you in who are the players tonight. But in general, I want to thank you all out there for the great work you're doing and uh, stay tuned. We're back tomorrow. Thank you, Hans. I appreciate that. Yeah, and I, I want to start uh, with a reminder of what you mentioned earlier about Yahoo Sports. Uh, you know, I think a lot of us are looking for, for normal these days and what is normal between the things we're doing for society with music, the sports. Another quick note, 27 years ago, The Sandlot, one of the best baseball movies ever uh, was released. So, uh, you know, we've been in this for a while, but uh, we'll pickle this piece for sure. So uh, I want to talk about Yahoo uh, Sports and, and what we have coming from there. Chris, if you want to take the slide, uh, you know, Yahoo Sports and the Women's uh, Sports Foundation will host a first of its kind uh, live event this Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern uh, with some big names like Billie Jean King and Carly Lloyd. Uh, talking about uh, sharing some of their personal stories of resilience. Uh, and you can check that out on the Yahoo Sports app this weekend. Now, you also mentioned coming up uh, in, uh, a little bit later than that, uh, Saturday, April 18th, 
Uh, we can go to the next slide. Uh, talking about One World Together at Home. I mean, talk about the list of, of names and uh, celebrities here for this. Uh, maybe they'll ask us to, to show up and say something too, who knows. But it's a globally televised and streamed special uh, in support of the fight against COVID-19, the pandemic, One World Together at Home. Uh, that is uh, Saturday, April 18th. And like Han said, tonight uh, is our next edition of Pay It Forward. We've got uh, some more gamers tonight. Uh, scissors uh, facing off against Pokimane. Uh, to go live on Verizon to support small businesses through Pay It Forward Live, um, because even if we can't uh, leave our homes, we can still come together to support small businesses. So I look forward to uh, seeing what all of that is about tonight. But I will leave you today with another reminder. Reach out to those you love and those you haven't heard from in a while. Always a, a good time to do that. No no time like the uh, the present to text, call, video chat, whatever you got to do to make it right. So we'll be back with you again tomorrow at noon. And until next time, you're up to speed.